So I'm going to explain the securitization, the process. This picture to give you a clear idea how securitization work. So let's start with the homeowner. In this case, suppose uh, one household, Harris. This household want to buy house. So where can they get money? And uh, many of you know answers. The household can go to the bank. In this case, Will Fargo to get loan to buy house. That's right. But now the question is, where does the Will Fargo get money to finance this household to buy the house? And many of you may argue, Will Fargo get money from the depositors, from the deposit people make into the bank? If you answer the question like this, in the past, the answer is right. But nowadays, your answer is wrong. Why? And I'm going to explain here. The Wells Fargo, after they issue the loan to the Harris, Wells Fargo actually going to sell the loan to the Goldman Sachs in this picture. You can see the Goldman Sachs, the blue square, is mortgage-backed security issuers. So Wells Fargo is, no, is not going to keep your loan or Harris loans in their bank. They sell to the Goldman Sachs. What is Goldman Sachs going to do with the loans? They are going to package many, many households loans together and issue them as a securities in the global financial markets. So who are going to buy the securities? The investors. The investors all around the world may buy the security issued by the Goldman Sachs. So when the insurers buy the securities issued by the Goldman Sachs, investors give the money to Goldman Sachs. And then the Goldman Sachs use this money to pay for the Wells Fargo. Remember, earlier we said Wells Fargo sell the loan to Goldman Sachs. So Goldman Sachs use the money they raise through the issuing the security to pay the Wells Fargo. And then Wells Fargo use the money to finance the owners of these homes or the house. So that's the securitization process. But uh, some of you may ask, yeah, how the investors get a return of the, their investment? This picture also illustrates the process. The homeowner will pay interest and the principal to the Wells Fargo. And the Wells Fargo will pass the homeowner's payment to the trustee, in this case is the Deutsche Bank. And then the Deutsche Bank, the trustee, will pass through the interest and the principal to the investors who buy the securities. So here comes the question. First one, does the money bank lend out to the homeowners come from the bank's deposit? Again, you probably know the answer. The answer is no. The money will fargo lend out to the homeowners actually come from the money from the investors in the financial markets. So question number two, who ultimately finance homeowners to buy, buy the house? So if you buy the house, who actually finance you? Who actually give you money? The answer is the global investors. Right? So if you buy the house here, suppose in Arkansas, the money may come from the investors from the Europe, 
the money may come from investors in Japan. So that's how the securitization the process work. But why do we need to have a securitization? Because now the homeowners actually can borrow the money from the global investors. So which means the homeowners now have more resources, have more places to borrow money instead of the only get money from the local bank, which has a limited resources. The homeowner today, they actually raise money through the global financial market. It will reduce the cost of the borrowing for the homeowners. Oh. Come on. 